Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here today with GeoFS. This is a free flight simulator that I'm using with my Flight in Space Classroom. It's pretty awesome, and today I'm going to show you how the school version works. So let's get cracking. So my friends, if you look up above, I'll have a link to my first video where I taught you how to fly with the keyboard. Then I'll have a second video where I teach you how to fly with a mouse. Today, my friends, I want to show you the more button. There is a schools option. When you sign up for a schools account, it does cost per student per year, but once you do this, you can create your own servers where it is you flying personally with your students. It gives you lots of cool features though where you can actually fly as a tandem even though you're at different computers and you actually get to see each other as you're flying in this airspace. So when you pay for the schools version, you have seats where you can sign kids in and you actually get to be in the same airspace. So instead of an airspace where there's 300 pilots, it's just your classroom. And you can also fly together. Uh, you can virtually be in the same airplane. You can watch the controls. You can take over the controls. I'm not at a level where I'm teaching people how to fly. We're just a middle school class that's experiencing flight, but we are having a lot of fun and learning a little bit about navigation. So my friends, let me show you how it all works. So when you do pay for one of these accounts, you do get a special sign-in and you'll send students to this sign-in so they can sign in with their email and a password you give them. There is a page where you can fill in the student's info and then save it. You will have a certain number of licenses that you can use. The big thing is you have to type them in individually and you've got to remember the only way to get to this one is with the special school link. So we can work from this same list if we're adjusting anything. Yesterday I had a student where I messed up their email address so that had them locked out. Simple things to just get back in. You can see the students make the adjustment and click save. Everything can be changed later like I mentioned earlier. When you delete an account, say you had a class of 30 that left, if you delete each of those, your licenses come back and they will last for the whole year again. Students can edit their call sign on the account page, which is in the top right hand corner, like right here I can see my HL Mod Tech flies. When you're flying as a classroom, you can list all the online pilots down here in the bottom. That's a great way if you were trying to do attendance. And then also you can join a user in flight or you can share a flight. And when anybody wants to work with you, you can accept, you can refuse, you can also choose block. You can also choose stop sharing, you can give control, so you can let somebody fly you somewhere, or you can take control and put yourself back in charge of your airplane. So, let's actually do some flying. Alrighty friends, so this is actual in-flight class time. I had my screen where I was flying, I had the students all spaced out throughout the room, they were flying as well. While they were flying, we talked about things like if you press 9, that takes your throttle all the way up to high. And then if you press P, you can pause and mess with the controls. We were flying with the mouse, and you always want your mouse cursor close to the center of the screen. If you're moving to actually change your controls, that'll throw everything out of whack. We learned cool things while we were flying today where we learned how to use the text. So when you've got your mouse in the right spot, if you press the letter T, you can send a comment. So you'll see text comments popping up on our screen right now as the students are learning. I started today by in Google Classroom telling the students to type a zip code. So we were all in the same general location. Uh, if you could have heard the kids in the class, it was awesome. Whenever they flew by one of their classmates, that was one of their favorite things. And we all started with the airplane that's built in, but then they started moving through the aircraft and experimenting with different types of flight. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, kids were having fun with the chat. You can see here the scenery is good. Another awesome thing was we hit N, which is for navigation. We zoomed all the way out. I taught the kids how to find Italy because we looked for the boot. When we zoomed in, we could find the Vatican, and then we actually flew by Mount Vesuvius, which was a lot of fun. It was a really cool connection with class because kids were talking about a new game they're playing where they try and find the location. I don't understand the game yet, but they were having a lot of fun. If you guys know the game, maybe you can leave a note about that in the comments. As we flew, we also talked about how you can change your views. Uh, if you press the letter C, you can go uh, to a view where you're in the cockpit. You can do one where it's just the HUD. You can do a trail cam. There are all kinds of cool ways that you can work with this flight simulator to learn more about flight, learn more about controls, make sure you understand pitch, roll, yaw, and everything you need to know about being a real pilot. 
So my friends, in wrapping up, I have had a blast using GeoFS in my classroom. Uh, the free version is great, the school version is even cooler when it's just your class in a group and you're using chat and you're actually working through things, it is awesome. The support I've got from Xavier at GeoFS has been fantastic. I shoot an email and I'm almost immediately getting answers back and the whole process has been just a blast. And I highly recommend you guys check it out. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.